The demarcation problem is the problem in philosophy of delineating science from pseudoscience. Separating the two has obvious benefits, such as knowing the proper research proposals to award funds to, and what topics are appropriate to be taught in schools. This process sounds easy, right? Physics is science. Flat Earthism is pseudoscience. Hewing the two apart isn't always simple or straightforward, though. We have some clear examples of obvious pseudoscience, like Flat Earthism. But what about other, less obvious examples of disciplines that sit in the boundary between science and pseudoscience? Examples of this do exist. For instance, many people would call chiropractic a pseudoscience because it isn't embraced by the mainstream medical community. On the other hand, there is a large body of individuals who practice, discuss, and write about chiropractic as if it is a science. Importantly, patients seem to see actual results from visiting chiropractors. So, is chiropractic a science? I honestly don't know. Philosophers have tried to definitively draw a line between science and pseudoscience for nearly a century, but they still haven't come to a solution over how to separate the two. One well-known attempt at solving the demarcation problem comes from Karl Popper, who argued that if something could be falsified, then it was a science. All non-falsifiable theories were therefore pseudoscientific. Popper's attempt quickly runs into problems though, because theories that are clearly pseudoscientific can make falsifiable claims. Meaning, under Popper's criterion of demarcation, they would actually be scientific. For example, a flat earther can claim that the world is flat as seen from space. Simply because this statement can, and has been falsified, does not make flat earthism a science. Funnily, and perhaps significantly, the falsification of a flat earth doesn't seem to stop flat earthers. So, the next time somebody claims something is scientific or pseudoscientific, think critically about what that actually means. Because philosophers have been struggling with the demarcation problem for a long, long time.